something stinks. Terrible smell. I had to let it sit in the bathroom for a little while. What's really lurking on those new clothes? It's awful. That wouldn't even cross my mind in a million years. Out of the bag and into the lab. This is a dangerous piece of clothing. Ultra fast fashion giants put to the test. Why, Miriam, are companies still using these chemicals? It's cheap. Why are we letting this stuff in? Why aren't we making it here? This is your marketplace. This is cute, hooded raincoat, waterproof. We're hunting for deals online. Ooh, my bathing suit's on sale for $11. The clothes are cheap, but what's the real cost? We are about to show you just how toxic some of these deals can be. We're ordering dozens of items, including clothes for my toddler and me. And the stakes for me just got bigger. Maternity PJ set and maternity denim shirt. Ships from China. Let's go through the cart. We're taking our haul to the University of Toronto. Oh my gosh, you've been shopping. We sure have. <laughs> Environmental chemist Miriam Diamond and her team will test these clothes for chemicals. We're gonna look for uh, heavy metals, phthalates, PFAs. Yes. PFAs, or PFAS, and phthalates are man-made, and just like heavy metals, many can be toxic in some quantities. What would you see if you are affected by these chemicals or these ingredients? It's not like I was exposed to a poison and then the, in the next couple of hours I get really sick. It's not that kind of an immediate connection. Maybe you were exposed as a fetus, and maybe the manifestation is an alteration to the male reproductive system, decrease in IQ level. Hmm. They get right to work on our brand new, right out of the box clothes from some of the world's biggest ultra fast fashion brands. 164.6 grams. Country of manufacture was China. Raincoat, quite a few raincoats. Our results will be ready soon, but first, so much stuff on here. I found a shirt you might like. Would you buy that? Camila Diaz and her friend check out Shein every single day. They get lured in by ads like this. Hello everyone, welcome back to our Instagram live series where we interview our Shein X designers. And the celebrities that promote them. Ultra fast fashion sites churn out hundreds of styles daily. Are you buying like a new thing every day? I'll be looking every day. Okay. She had her way she would be buying yeah. every day, but no. I was literally looking over my order this morning and I was like, yes, yes. The fast fashion industry makes billions annually in sales. Today I'm back with a mini haul. And they do it by selling clothes for a few dollars. I have some of the best jeans from Shein. Shoes under 10 bucks. Only $9. I believe I got this for like 10 or $15, super inexpensive. Mom Linda is skeptical. Very skeptical. Camilla came to me and she says, oh, I found all these great swimsuits and they're like dirt cheap. So when their Shein haul finally arrives. It wasn't, I would say, the best quality. So there was a bit of an I told you so <laughs> moment. <laughs> Not, not, not good. Not good the first time. Okay, yeah. let's see. The actual fabric was like way too thin. And Camilla's not alone. This waistband is just weird. There are lots of people who don't get what they expect. I'm so upset. What are those? Granny panties? I want my money back. Do what look good in this? Do what look good in this? So what about our stuff? These are supposed to be an adult medium. I don't know who those would fit. Not my particular <laughs> flavor, but my nephew would love this. We need a pro to give us the scoop on our ultra fast fashion picks. My name is Leslie Hampton and I'm an indigenous artist and designer. And winner of the Fashion Impact Award. International mega stars like Lizzo wear her threats. This is a whole pile of stuff that we ordered from a number of different websites. First up, these $8 shorts from Zaffle. This is new coming to you. It's got oh, holes in it. So they ran it through the machine, like with no thread in it. 
Next, check out these leggings from AliExpress for about 15 bucks. Not the size we were expecting. If I was a medium and I had received these, I'd be really disappointed. Next, this Shein kids coat listed for 26 bucks. You can pull it apart yeah. already. Threads will come out of it. Oh, um, wow. So the best way to fix that would be to maybe have a rolled hem, which again would take more take time. time to do. Okay. Or, or even a lining. Leslie calls out lots of misses, including this $15 buy from AliExpress. They should have back stitching, so you go back yeah. and forth, so it locks in the stitching. Whereas this, I feel like I could just pull and start to unravel. And these Boohoo workout leggings for about $35. Very thin. When you just held that up, I felt like I could see right through it. Yeah, so depending on how public you want to be when you're working out. A similar issue with this $24 Fashion Nova tracksuit. This is very lightweight. Um, it is a little see-through. See -through. Yeah. Yeah. But the biggest fail for Leslie, this raincoat for $13 from AliExpress. Oh, look, there's like a hole there's in a it. There's a full hole because they didn't stitch it up. According to Leslie, almost half of the products we bought were definitely not as advertised. I definitely think as consumers, we have to slow down and really think about where our clothing is coming from. And now it's time to learn what's really in our clothing. Our lab results are in. First up, this cute little bag from Shein. It reminds the Diaz family of their Shein box. It came and it smelled awful. This it one was smelled like awful. a terrible smell. I had to let it sit in the bathroom for a little while. Do you want to feel it? Does it feel at all like your belt? It's definitely yeah, a similar it does material. Yeah, feel similar. So this little red purse should not be allowed. Miriam Diamond says it's not just the smell, it's toxic. This is Health Canada's limit for lead in children's products. Our little red purse is five times more than that limit. The harm will continue over time, and particularly as this little red purse deteriorates. But let's think even broader. Okay. So somebody made this little red purse. Yeah. Like, can you imagine? It's, it's leaving just a, a little trail. trail of lead everywhere it goes. Exactly. Wow. Well, what do you guys think about that? That's that's like an insane amount. Oh wait, may I? Can I see? That one has five times the amount of lead that's allowed in a kid's product. Really? So I'm gonna take that one back. Yeah, <laughs> Huh? And where would this would you... go? In your mouth. <laughs> In her mouth, yeah. right? Yeah. Would you want her to be wearing this every day, playing with this every day? No, so, not at all. No. And there's more. Remember this AliExpress raincoat with a hole? That's not the only issue. The lab tests detect high levels of PFAS. All of them are forever chemicals. The harmful effects include a range of effects, everything from um, increasing obesity, mm. to impairing immune function, to different types of cancers, to even diabetes. Is there something else? They do not have to be used to make our clothes. There are alternatives. Remember, we did not have PFAS in our rain gear before the past 30 years. Somehow we managed to stay dry and survive. Substance used to make this water repellent yeah. was flagged to us by experts concerning levels in a raincoat. Wow, and everybody needs a raincoat. PFAS are called forever chemicals. They build up in our bodies and over time can show up in our blood and urine. That wouldn't even cross my mind in a million years. It's awful. Definitely is uh, concerning the things that are not disclosed. We're giving our kids a legacy of contaminated drinking water because of today's raincoat. Can I calculate that cost into the future? Very difficult, but I can assure you it's not covered by $13. OK. In fact, research shows these forever chemicals are polluting our oceans and drinking water. And they never break down. I don't know why there's not more testing or higher standards being held for things. Don't go away and don't buy anything. More lab reveals. I am so alarmed. We're searching for answers from fast fashion giants. Your marketplace gets action. Get more marketplace.
sign up for our weekly newsletter at cbc.ca slash marketplace. This is your marketplace. This dress has to be my favorite. Cute little romper. I did not think it would look this nice like in person. We love our fast fashion deals. They kill it. Did you guys ever use this? Right? I would buy it for my niece. What do you think it is that's driving people to this stuff? The price, for sure. It's the price. But what's the real cost of these cheap buys? Our lab tests reveal shocking levels of toxic chemicals in our clothes. I'm so alarmed. I am so alarmed. We're buying what looks cute and fashionable on this incredibly short fashion cycle. That cost is not worth it. This was a $13 bag we bought from Zaffle. How troubled were you by what we found on that? We found elevated levels of a bunch of different phthalates. The phthalates are used as a plasticizer because you see it's flexible. I know that the phthalates are endocrine disruptors. Mm -hmm. Endocrine disruptors are a, a wide range of chemicals that have the ability to alter our hormone levels. Hormones, in turn, control a whole mm -hmm. bunch of different aspects of our physiology. The phthalates in particular are known to disrupt male reproductive system. These things can mess with your hormones, in particular oh. for men. Really? In your reproductive system. Oh, you, that sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> like, now, it would have never even crossed my mind until you just said that. We share our findings with Health Canada and ask for an on-camera interview. They say no, but we're going to keep trying because Miriam keeps finding toxic chemicals in our samples. I know that people who hear this are gonna go, what? People should be shocked. That should be the response, what are these chemicals doing in my clothes? Like in this kid's coat from Shein. I think this trench coat is hazardous waste. The level of lead is almost 20 times higher than what's allowed in kids' products. 20 times, 20 times. Wow, the, the amount, amount of, of lead. That's allowed in a children's product. How often do you see a kid chewing on their, you know, collar? And our skin can absorb it too. We cover 85% of our body with yeah. clothing, just about all the time. Skin is the very active organ. Well, it's shocking. You would never know. Next up, this AliExpress bib. We've got a bib. Do you know who this is? <laughs> you got it! It has elevated levels of phthalates. Though not over Health Canada's limit, Miriam is still concerned. I'm sure a lot of parents know these are like the best because all the food just ends up in the pot and then they can pick it out and they put it right back in their mouth. That's right. And and the, and the child is touching it yeah. and playing with it. Yeah. So yes, I was concerned about the bib wow. because of the phthalates. Okay. And it's not just the bibs. Miriam has the same concerns with these dresses too. What My about... Friend has that shirt. Your friend has this? Yes. On well, her birthday, she wore it. And who's this? You guys know who? This is another one that got flagged to us by our experts. In all, we put six ultra fast fashion giants to the test. Zulily, Boohoo, and Fashion Nova's products didn't raise any red flags. But our lab tests found elevated levels of PFAS, phthalates, or heavy metals in products from Zaffle, AliExpress, and Shein about 20% of our haul. So why are companies adding all these toxins and endocrine disruptors to our clothes? Nobody has an excuse to say, well, I just don't know how to tackle it. Joelle Mertens knows they don't need to use them at all. We learn a lot of things about the toxicity of, of what we've been doing, and, and it comes down to, can we do it better? Once something is flagged as problematic, what are my alternatives to this? He's with the Sustainable Apparel Coalition. Really, if we're focused on reducing environmental impacts and harm, it really goes into the full manufacturing supply chain. So I think, Joel, what you're saying is the manufacturers need to do a better job of checking in on how their clothes are being made. If the only brand conversation with a manufacturer is on the price, then that's what the manufacturer is going to focus on. 
We share our findings with all six retailers. Remember these quality issues? It's got oh holes in it. Zaffle apologized for that defect. They and Boohoo say customers can always ask for refunds. Shein and AliExpress say they're working with their third-party suppliers to improve quality. Fashion Nova says they stand by the quality of their products. And no comment from Zoo Lily. Only Shein, Zaffle, and AliExpress's items were flagged as toxic or concerning. All say they've pulled the products from their Canadian sites while they continue to investigate. Zaffle says they're recalling that clear tote and giving refunds to customers. Why, Miriam, are companies still using these chemicals? It's cheap. It's unfortunately cheap. There are alternatives okay. that are safer. She says we need better regulation. One solution in California, where there are labeling laws. Oh, lead and cadmium. Yeah. Yeah, this one has... Which is known to cause cancer and birth defects and yeah. other reproductive harm. How do you feel about it being right on the tag? Do you think that that's a good marker for consumers? No. No. Okay. I am not in favor of labeling. I'm in favor of not having lead and cadmium in this garment. Hmm. Not everybody reads tags. Tags come off. What about secondhand clothing? The tag also does not help the people who manufactured this garment. Okay who are exposed to cadmium and lead. Okay. I think we need to be protecting everybody. Joelle agrees. The best thing to do is to uh, submit those to Health Canada, who ultimately is responsible for reviewing the, the results. Remember, we've been trying for weeks to get Health Canada on camera to talk to us about our findings, but they still say no. Health Canada won't talk to us. Why are we letting this stuff in? Why aren't we making it here where we can regulate it? And probably because it could be made cheaper somewhere else. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Finally, Health Canada sent us a statement. As a result of our investigation, they say they'll follow up with some of the items we flagged. Ultimately, though, they say it's the companies who are responsible for making sure their products are safe. For people who may have an order coming from one of these companies, practical advice for them to protect themselves? When you wash something, the wash water goes through the wastewater treatment plant. Okay. Wastewater treatment plants deal with lots of different chemicals. Okay. It'll reduce your own exposure. Okay. But over the long term, that's not a good enough solution because it just isn't protective enough. In the long term, no. I just don't want to buy it. Advice one of our younger sources has already taken to heart. This shiny one? Uh-uh. <laughs>